That's creepy ass, man. You've got no we eyebrows. Have local Joe. Local Joe has jumped in to hijack the stage. I am the I voice of the Self Stone. Yeah, Savior Strong. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the Self Stone Comedy Club. Thank you for being here for this show. Um, what have you guys been doing this week? Uh, Trev, what have, have you done anything interesting this week, man? Um, well, so uh, earlier uh, last week, I guess you could say. Scroll on TikTok and I saw somebody made pizza fries. Pizza fries? Mm, that I saw sounds that. good. Some pizza Actually, fries. I didn't see yeah. that. One. Okay. Yeah, so oh, yeah. You take some fries, however you make them, in the oven, air fryer, natural fryer, you know, put them on a sheet pan, melt melt some cheese and some pepperoni, and you dump that on the fries. <laughs> okay. It's, it's pretty good. Oh, I see. see? Okay, I'm so a see, happy girl. my dumb behind thought you meant someone took a pizza and cut it into strips. Oh. <laughs> that sounds good way. too. <laughs> the other way around. Oh yeah. man! But I have seen that. You know, my it was my like wife French and I. fry pie. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> my wife and I actually went to like a to something uh, in West in in Virginia. We had to, uh, this was years ago, and we went to this uh, restaurant and they had feta fries on the menu. And it's like that mm, sounds yeah. so yes. stupid and mid just fries with feta cheese on them yes. but Salty. when they bake them just right so the feta crumbles just started to melt and when you mm. it was divine it was just absolutely oh i couldn't God, believe I'm it so, the, so it pizza fries us. makes sense from a mm -hmm. fat boy standpoint i think that's a that's a nine on the fat boy scale i i, I can definitely <laughs> live with that um <laughs> nanook i have to ask you what what did you what did you get into this week uh honestly it's a weird one not gonna lie i saw it on the internet and i was like you know what <laughs> it's probably the most interesting strange thing i've ever seen and i'm gonna go for it peanut okay. butter and jelly right nothing too uh -huh. crazy Yummy. except we're using a hot dog bun <laughs> and we're gonna toast that bad boy nice and okay. light wow. Okay. wow peanut butter on one that side that jelly on the other okay and we're gonna swap that glizz out for a banana Okay. okay. All right, right Elvis. Okay. okay. Yeah, Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> Mark Lark is not feeling that. Mark Lark, no, I'm like a I can afford. Give him some confetti, y'all. Mark Lark. <laughs> totally Throw a little affordable. chocolate sauce on there, man. Okay. Throw some okay. chocolate sauce oh, on boy. there. Some crushed oh, you're a happy guy. Why don't you Let's see. I admit, I'm not a peanut butter and jelly fan, but that sounds good until you start to think about the grape jelly and the chocolate together. I'm not, yeah. I don't know if those two would go together, what but if, if it works for you. Yeah. No, no, no. Strawberry, See, strawberry. Oh, strawberry. Thank you. Okay. Strawberry now, jam. Now, now, we're winning. now we're cooking with Yeah, this. Okay. strawberry. Yeah, I don't, I don't really with rock with grape flavored things. I got to be real with you. Okay, cool. All right, all right. Love it. And since, since, we, since she's here, you know, I got to ask her, uh, local Joe, have, have, has do. there been anything that has piqued your taste buds over the course of the past week that you kind of want to open the show with us with? You know what? Oh, yeah. uh, I'm usually not one to be looking up recipes and trying it out, but this week I actually did. So mm -hmm. I took some ground chicken. I ground it up like really good. Not like shredded uh -huh. chicken, but like I I got up in there. You know what I mean? And then uh -huh. I, I added them to a bowl with like an egg and then I mixed it together, put some breadcrumbs around it. It sounds really gross, but it's not. I made my own chicken fingers. They were slapping. Ooh, nice. Nice. So nice. good. I, I covered them in like garlic butter sauce and dipped them in butter. some ranch. And like, all I have to say mm -hmm. is I was a happy girl by the end of the night. You know what I mean? Garlic butter. Now, that is something for God. Right. I, gotta I got a question. I got a question for you guys. Please. Right. Now, when, right. when we go for the breading on you frying something, right? Mm -hmm. What type of what type of breading are we using? Mm. So for me, it's always panko crumbs. Yes, it's always panko yeah. crumbs. Yes, pins, always. But yeah. And I gotta season them up with Italian seasoning. And for those of you, I don't know if any of you know who uh, Internet Sensation, uh, everybody's auntie Tabitha Brown is, but she has her own mm -hmm. seasoning line. And yeah, I've heard. About I it. bought the sunshine seasoning and the very good garlic seasoning. So if you mm. take your breadcrumbs, your panko breadcrumbs. You add Italian seasoning to them, and then you add Tabitha Brown's very good garlic. Whew. That's the breading oh, right there that I could. That's a I could good live with all day long. Right there. 
I yeah. can live with that. Yeah. Oh yeah, good time. <laughs> yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. So I, I gotta yeah. tell you, um, <laughs> my thing this week is kind of why I wanted to have this episode and talk about what I wanted to talk about this week. I said this week, like we do this on a regular schedule. Um, (laughs) So thank you for being I appreciate that. We're live right Um, here. We're live. We're live right now. Ashman live. Y'all this might end up on your internet. So if you see your, if you see yourself, because we, we talk to the audience. So if you see yourself or you hear yourself, don't be nervous. Um, Just hate the sound of your own voice. Yeah, there you go. But the thing <laughs> yeah. I did this week and kind of led to the topic of, t- of this episode was I was making sales. No, not sales. I was making meatloaf. So let me let me rewind a bit. So my daughter had something kind of bad happen. Not serious bad, but just disappointing bad happened at school. And I said, you know what? Let's have a pick me up. Let's go to Golden Corral because I know my kid likes Golden mm-hmm. Corral. And they happen to have meatloaf on the uh, on the buffet this evening. And not with a ketchup gravy, because I'm not a fan of ketchup gravy meatloaf, but it was a brown beef gravy meatloaf, right? Mm. And my my kid grabs it and she's like, Dad, this is really good. You ought to get some. And I'm like, I'm not feeling meatloaf tonight. But, you know, so we went back to the buffet second trip. She got more meatloaf, still liked it. So I said, you know what? Let me try this. So I had a piece of it. It was pretty good. So I'm trying to figure out what to make at home this week. And I say, hey, kiddo, what if I make meatloaf and macro meatloaf and mashed potatoes and she says no i like the meatloaf idea dad but how about macaroni and cheese instead and i said okay macaroni and cheese that's cool mm. and she and then she goes and make it with the root now i have to explain that the way i was originally taught to make mac and cheese is not from a root it's southern style Excuse baked me, macaroni sir. and cheese with a custard that starts with half and half and you add eggs to it and that that's the way i learned so making mac and cheese from a roux is not my cup of tea i've done it for her a couple of times and it's cool but i just go happen to be scrolling through TikTok while i'm putting you know while i'm putting my grocery list together and i know this story is getting long but i don't give a damn you're gonna listen to me anyway um uh, (laughs) so i'm i'm going back and forth between putting my grocery list together and TikTok, and i see this video of this dude that says i got a crazy air fryer recipe for you i made mac and cheese in my air fryer and i'm like wait a god dog on minute no no you didn't no you didn't so he, he proceeds to exactly flag on the play buzzer exit out flag um, on the play. But, thank you but my voice uh but he, um, <laughs> sorry. so anyway so he starts on he goes through the steps and i'm like wait a minute and then I'm scrolling through my TikTok feed again, and another one of my f- favorite influencers who remakes things other people make so he can taste them himself. I don't know if you all have seen him. His name is Corey B. Yeah, I love his. Yeah, so he remakes the um, the air fryer mac and cheese recipe for himself and his wife. They love it. It makes their eyes roll in the back of their head, and I'm like, wait a minute. Is this really that good? So I'm going to walk you through the steps of how you do this, okay? So... If your air fryer has a watertight basket, if, if it has holes in it for for uh for airflow, don't do this. But if it has an airtight <laughs> basket, flag on the but plane, it, I'm done. It has a, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but if it has an if it has a liquid airtight basket, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take one eight ounce block of mozzarella. You're gonna take one eight ounce block of cheddar, right? Damn. And, cup, and one cup of milk or half and half. I used half and half. You're going to put them into your air fryer basket, and then you're going to add a third of a cup of flour. Now, the video, he did not mix it in, which is another thing that was crazy to me. He did not mix his flour into the milk. He just dumped it in and ran it, and he ran it at 375 for about 10 to 12 minutes. And when he opened it up, it started to have a nice, like, bubbly, cheesy crust on top. Mm -hmm. And the, the flour had melted in and the cheese blocks had melted. So then he stirred the melted cheese into the milk, got the flour all incorporated and started getting tight like it should. I was like, okay, this is nice. And then he dropped in his boiled macaroni noodles and then stirred it well to incorporate the noodles into the cheese and then baked it off again for another, mm-hmm. uh, air fried it, I should say, air fried it again 
for another, I'd say five to 10 minutes at the 375. And it came out and it had a nice bubbly. Now he, he, he did season it. I should say that he also put salt and pepper and he did some, a little bit of Dijon mustard. Mm. I always use must dry mustard powder powder, but he used Dijon mustard, mixed it all in there. Then did the second air fryer run. It came out and stirred and it was, it looked like it had come out of, out of Patty LaBelle's oven. I'm not even kidding. And when Corey B tasted it, like I said, he and his wife. So I made this for my kid. And all the way through while I'm making it, I'm like, this is not going to work. This is not going to work. This is not mm. going to work. And I'm telling you, when I took that first spoonful, I was pissed at myself for having doubted. <laughs> it I was, I was <laughs> mad. It worked. Trust the so, Air fryer mac and cheese. So I wanted to bring that well, to y'all to, to kind of start the conversation tonight about uh, those of you that are on TikTok. <laughs> Those of you that have seen some of what these uh, cooking influencers do, um, I want to talk about TikTok <laughs> recipes. I want to see things that I want to talk about things that you have seen that you wanted to try that you did try. I want to talk about things that you saw that were like, "Why in the hell did you do this? Throw your air fryer away! You should be in jail." Uh, things, <laughs> and let's let's have that conversation. So first, we'll start with the folks on stage, and then we'll um, get some audience participation. But I want to know, guys, what have you seen on TikTok that you've either wanted to try or you have tried and it was good or it was some ever loving doo doo? What did you do? What did you do? Uh, so hmm. I, I love breakfast foods, right? Ooh, okay. I saw Starting this fellow on TikTok substitute, you know, so pre made uh, box pancakes, right? Right. He didn't add water to it, he put Dr. Pepper in there. And I was like, oh. hold up, wait a, wait a minute. <laughs> hold Dr. Pepper. That, wait that a might be dang good. minute. And so, you know, I'm <laughs> home alone one day. It's like, I'll make some breakfast. And, you know, while it was good, it, it wasn't like top tier. Like, oh, that's maybe like a four and a half on, on my scale. So like, it Dr. worked, but it didn't, didn't really work. <laughs> I'm still stuck Pepper on Dr. Pancake. Pepper, but okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Have you, have you seen anything crazy? So, so I saw like a what, oh man, what do you call that? Uh, beef Wellington, like a poor man's beef, beef Wellington. G Reezy needs to be back. Beef Wellington, go ahead. Yeah, it, like a poor man's beef Wellington, right? Poor man's beef Wellington. Okay. <laughs> so he took a roast, right, and then uh, you know he seasoned it up. Did all that herbs and spices and whatnot. Um, layered on. So he he used I mean, it was rice. more Asian style mushrooms that he pasted. Um, you know, made into a paste in a food mm -hmm. processor, right? Hmm. Okay. And now this roast was cut into smaller, maybe like two three inch <laughs> by two three inch squares. Okay? okay, so real small. Put that put that uh, mushroom paste on there, and then instead of like that that like parchment kind of you know flaky whatever Covering, um stuff yeah. that was on there he ended out it's using the, like, uh, like the can what, what do you call it the can of like uh, a pillsbury doughboy extra wow. flaky yeah it's not like i am right? using can wow yeah and then you know the butter and a little bit of salt on top now these are small right these are like hand-sized ones yeah 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 and then Pop that bad boy in the oven. Oh, I was I like, that. "Ooh, so I gotta funny. try that. I gotta See, try that." That's another one. You're you're sitting there mm -hmm. doing it while while you're watching the video, while you're watching the steps, and you're like, "This should not work." Because <laughs> oh, the no. way you described that to me, that should not work. <laughs> but it but it looked fantastic. I mean, but it looked fantastic. It. He cut into it, and that just looked it looked beautiful. Honestly, wow. I was like, man. They, they I gotta try that. I got everything. I got everything. I plan on making it tomorrow. So next episode well, you, of the soap stove, next we'll, episode, we'll know how it came out. That's that's your that's oh, your wait, assignment. You everybody, made it that yet? is Nanook's assignment. Oh no, I haven't made it yet. But He's got to talk to. about it. Next soap stove, mm -hmm. he has to talk about the success or the failure <laughs> of the of the Pillsbury uh, biscuit uh, dough, uh, poor man's beef Wellington. So that's your assignment. All right, everybody gets <laughs> homework. Oh, man. Everybody gets what? homework and everybody's homework involves eating. That's why yeah. that's why Love this is that. a soap soap. It is what it is. All right. So Joe. So um oh, 
I can only think of one, and it's not even like I'm not even gonna try it. Like this isn't even in my recipe book. I just saw it on TikTok, and it was a hard no. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this guy, he had a glove, right? It's already starting off bad. A glove. He filled the fingers with hot dogs. <laughs> And then put vet. I'm telling you, he really don't, don't look away. It's like this. <laughs> take me serious when I'm talking to you, Xavier. <laughs> I gave her the, the okay. Stuff, I you, gave her the Miss Piggy slow. No wait, I gave it her the Miss Piggy slow turn. Fast. That's what I meant. <laughs> yeah, you did. I, I saw you. Okay. Mind you, I didn't try it. I'm not doing this. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. He okay. put the the hot dogs in the fingers. Okay. Added some like chopped onion, some green peppers, threw it in the glove, you know, cracked a couple eggs in there a and glove. he boiled it. A glove. It was a latex glove, my guy. Look, man, I oh, didn't know what I okay. was watching. Oh, no, 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 okay, go on. Like a construction okay. glove. What the hell do you mean you <laughs> know what you're doing at work tomorrow? It was like, he was like, this is it, this is perfect. And I was just like, bro. <laughs> oh my God. This is not God. it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh but it's the first thing that came to my head. I'm not trying it, but I saw it, and I wish I didn't. <laughs> I'll take the risk, <laughs> She's, like, Absolutely secretly crazy. making it. She's secretly <laughs> making it this week. Maybe. Yeah. Hey, I'm not hungry anymore. My... <laughs> I'm not hungry I don't love it, but I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what the rest of you guys are doing, but... Her, her glove hot dog We're story. We're not doing that. <laughs> not eating that. <laughs> <Well, laughs> local Joe came up here straight up and said, have y'all tried the Glizov? <laughs> <laughs> the Glizov. The Glizov? Yeah. yeah, local Joe's first out. episode of the soap stove, and she's really making a name for herself. Um, I mean, I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> Considering the glizz of, no, you don't gotta do it. Don't <laughs> knock it till you try. Let me try to get some of this glizz. <laughs> All right, so uh, since we're talking about TikTok recipes, I want to bring the audience into this. Um, I know we got a live bot here, so we can't ask him. Uh, but we're gonna ask the rest of you. I'm gonna go by one by one, and I want to know. When was the last time you scrolled through TikTok and you saw something you wanted to try? So I'm gonna start with my man right here in the front, ladies and gentlemen, G Reezy. Tell us about your TikTok adventures. And you know, this is something special TikTok. because he just happens to be a chef. So we got a chef at the soap stove. So all of us need to shut up about any well, special things we've done because he's seen everything under the sun. Done it. And he yeah. had to graduate from a school for the stuff that Yo. we talk about being excited about every day. So, G. Reezy, I want to ask you, did you see any, have you scrolled through TikTok recently and just seen something like, I, I didn't see that in culinary school. Have you tried the feta and the cream cheese recipe all in one pan with the tomatoes in there? No. They bake is it, it all. Throw I've, the... I've, I've seen oh, it. Oh, it's so I've good. Made it, you mash I've made everything it twice together. for my family. Yep. Okay. That's I use borsan. Basically... I use borsan garlic and herb. Mm. See, I don't usually use like herb spices type, like the mixed ones. I'll always just either buy them fresh, but oh. So yeah, that was a good TikTok trend the, that I've seen. That was just super, the TikTok super pasta trend. Yeah, where you just have you got you know that one, yeah. guys. So I know, easy. Yeah, that one. yeah. yeah. I've made that but twice for my family, so and both times it was it was a it was a teen. Now I it was a teeny bit on the greasy <laughs> side. Maybe I used a little too much olive oil. But Maybe that's the, why I liked it. <laughs> but the the juice from the cherry tomatoes just uh, when they burst oh. and you mix it all together, it just comes together real nice. You know. It was amazing. No, that's like, silly. That's, good, a, that's silly, a real good, comfort good. meal, honestly. Though, pa and yeah. like honestly, it's easy soup too. And easy. pasta, and anything mm -hmm. turkey related, those are all just mm -hmm. comfort. Mm -hmm. meals. Yeah, like, yeah. turkey. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, like, like the honestly, honestly, in there honestly no. There's sleep. not a single person who I does at least like... love one of those three as He's a right. nice comfort meal. He's right. Yep. He's right. You know. Valid points. Yeah. Have anybody all tried right. to make a beef Wellington from the TikTok? Oh no. Nanook is, is Nanook's assignment uh, yeah. for next soap stove is he has to do that. Yeah, yeah. prepare to start this two days before you eat it. Because if you're oh, making no, your own no, puff no, pastry, not, that takes a long time. Beef Wellington. Oh, oh no, he saw a so poor good. man's beef wellington that you said you're gonna try. Yeah. yeah. And if you want to make a sauce for it, you take a liter of chicken stock, you reduce it down to basically nothing, throw a tiny bit of cornstarch and butter, 
and it makes such a salty glaze. Oh, get so See, that's why he has the certification, and we're just Mary? four knuckleheads up here talking about No, food. do you want to be? <laughs> to be honest, to be honest. You want to be, not baby? A, I want to say, to be honest, though, I'm not a registered chef. I'm a welder by trade, but I I, I cook more than I weld. Oh, even worse. He's a so, welder by trade, but he's talking yeah. about stock reductions and i'm like dude Here we just I learned am. the microwave oh, two yep. days ago <laughs> oh and i got bright blue eyes <laughs> and oh, he's trying to, oh, she's trying to sell himself <laughs> ladies and gentlemen welcome to soap stove right dating Late night <laughs> Greasy. Our first bachelor, one. G. Dot Greasy. He's a welder by day, but he's smoking it's your heart by night. By All right. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm building a, a, a food truck. Sorry. You building a food truck? I'm on my way. Right he could have just bought one, but he decided to build No, one. they're like 80 I'm grand kidding. in I'm Canada. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, no, 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 no. How no, much more appreciation would I have tires, for the truck if I... And I'm going to weld you know, the rest of this together. To make it. <laughs> My man is out scouting all, for yeah, metal, so... it's all so food grain stainless, so you've got to build a, it, right? If you, drive by, if you drive down the street and you see a roof missing from a car, he probably stole it for his food truck. Because <laughs> I'm um, waiting for my next paycheck. <laughs> Get the roof. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. I got laid off. A brutal <laughs> roof <laughs> awake. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see who else we got yeah. in the room. Oh, Warfeather's here. What's up, Warfeather, man? I haven't seen you in a couple days, War. man. What's so, up? When was the last time you scrolled through TikTok and saw some interesting recipes, man? I'm going to be honest. I haven't seen any recipes in TikTok. I'm on the wrong side of the universe. You're not helping. This Damn, is a show. Right. So I'm kidding. Oh, well, <laughs> well there, there was this one chick named Joe that was cooking in a glow. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Call back. Don't we have a real comedian here. Until you try. Oh, my. Oh, my. We have a real comedian here. This is awesome. This is awesome. All right. Since he's running around and running a bot for us, I want to ask Ashman. Come on, dude, because I know you're 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 like me, man. Talk talk about it. When was the last time you scrolled through uh, TikTok and saw something cool, man, and sent you right to the kitchen? Uh, about food. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Tell us about a TikTok about thing food. you saw, a TikTok trend, that, a food trend that you saw that you wanted to try or that you I haven't seen try. anything, but I'm a I'm a TikToker and I'd make one. I would take fruity pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> family size and i would mix it with a bag of pop rocks and then i'd pour it in a <laughs> soda it sounds like a oh, prank oh yeah it sounds like a yeah medicine. damn right i mean wait wait yeah. wait let's hear breakfast, him, let's hear him. breakfast of right, champions kind of soda. He's josh and you i would fill oh, it with funny. family size fruity pebbles and i'd mix in pop rocks so they wouldn't know which is which them. and then you put in soda instead of milk and then you eat it. What kind of soda? Yeah, what kind of soda? Coca Cola. Like Sprite? No oh, no. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, no. He's trying to kill somebody. Oh, no. Who's got this? Oh, my God. This sounds like, <laughs> this sounds like a prank. For real. This sounds no, like no, somebody no, 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 this no. very much giving where's Ashton Kutcher walking it. Because that yeah. is no. 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 It sounds so truthful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the soda will get you awake in the morning, you know, and then you'll have Probably that crinkling yeah. sound in your mouth, and then your oh, stomach Ashman. will explode, and you'll have I the day out of work because you'll be in the hospital. I don't know how that I works. I mean, he's a super oh, like, It's a whole thing. <laughs> I think he mix M and M's and Skittles in a bowl and see how many. It's very it's much well. giving. I'm sending my well. dentist kids to college next year because that is. That already happened, man. Uh uh-uh, uh, dude. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, All right. good to see if you. I was see ever in a struggle situation that Albert. much where I'm having I'll be pop rocks and fruity pebbles, <laughs> to I'm just going to eat dirt. Man, I've been here two and a half months. Nutritionally, you're not much like, off. <laughs> 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 All right. Hey, Cha Ching Master, you finally came back from being coined out. I want to hear from you. When's the last time I don't do TikTok, so I'm sorry. You're supposed to help the show. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, no, so, I, don't, I don't do. I don't. I don't do Facebook TikTok Reels, at all. Like, what about Instagram, Facebook Reels? Anything. What about Instagram? What about that? Blogs. So I saw a couple of things, but it's all the same stuff that you all enjoy, where you take like French fries and you put the nacho cheese over it with the bacon. Uh, recently, I made a dish which a lot of people probably wouldn't get, but it's uh, chicken sausage, potatoes. 
Fidelity onions and your choice mm. of olive oil. And I use a local like garlic infused olive oil. And you cook it all in one pan. And it's like this great, hearty, weird casserole. I made it for a sick friend. Sheet pan meals are awesome. Mm. Are you talking about sheet pan? It's basically what it was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I like yeah. doing that. I like yeah. taking like sausage and a bunch of root mm -hmm. vegetables and slicing yes. them up, drizzling them in olive oil them. and some seasonings, and just yeah. let it, it go for 30, 45 minutes. I delivered it to a friend that oven. came out of oh, surgery yeah. and yeah. all the now, family now, enjoyed here, it. Caramelization with a caramelization sausage, sausage uh, like sausage mm, links. Sausage but you wouldn't think about sausage. adding hey, apples to that. And apples does. Oh no! Like, like, work. Yeah. like sliced Italian apples, sausage, pears, sliced on duy sausage. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. With apples. Yeah. Wait. Or some kind of smoked pumpkin sausage. Spice. Yeah. I got my meaning count. Yeah. It's correct. No, sheep pan so meals are yeah. sheep pan <laughs> meals are a win. Absolutely. Yeah, no, that was a good one. Thank you. Yeah. World, you were talking yeah. about. There. Look who's you know here. Tried doing great. Recently, actually, that yeah. came so out my favorite people. What's that? I know. Yeah. Chicken pot pie made it from scratch. And like you know, yeah. make oh it Oh my god, I would kill. I would kill again using those Pillsbury Doughboy biscuits. Yeah, pretty cool. That's know, my favorite meal. Oh, man. Man. Like, don't, 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 but it is a beautiful right. thing. I've what had is? some where the I, I gravy with the, where the gravy wasn't great. I've had yes. some where the vegetables were overcooked. But then I've had some that were just right. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chicken's tender. Yep. No, vegetables yeah. the only are thing tender. That really, gravy the only thing is that really rich. Makes me feel sad, honestly. <laughs> is a chicken pot pie that's got like like a a cap full of gravy inside of it. Mm, it's yeah. just dry. Yeah. Just a dry chicken yeah. pot pie. That's just no. depressing. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> yes. No, that's not a pot pie. That's, that's an no ass pie. pie. That's a stew, buddy, with bread. <laughs> right, 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 right. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. playing. Just playing. So... I got to I got to pivot a little bit here because, you know, we've talked about all these TikTok trends and stuff. And, you know, when we log on tomorrow, there'll be some new trend. But, you know, since it's October, I want to bring this up. You know, I don't know how about you guys, but I love horror movies. You know what I'm saying? I've, I used to not like them when I was a kid, but I love horror movies now. Um, Ooh, and I always plan so out. Excited. Yeah, I, I like watching out. the news then. <laughs> Yeah, I always plan out <laughs> October watching Fox News. some old horror movies, some new ones. I don't care if they're bad. They're still fun to me to watch. Like, I'll either, like, one of my bad ones I'll either watch. I'll either watch Attack of the Killer Tomatoes or uh, <laughs> what's another real bad one? Um, rubber. Rubber. Evil Dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but, but I always, or, like, some of the, like, like Truth or Dare or Valentine's Day. Or uh, um, what's the one? Um, countdown, you know. But I'll plan out a movie marathon for myself where, like, almost every night in October, I'll watch that a horror like movie. fun. And you know what it is when you watch a movie by yourself or with some, with your boo or with your kids with and family in your house. <laughs> you know, I guess that's what the kids say. I'm 47 years old. Um, I, oh, honey, but, they don't say that. <laughs> But <laughs> yeah, I just aged myself. I don't care. Um, but yeah, you know, when you're planning out your your movie watching at home, if you have your theater room or you, you just got your hand down your pants like Al Bundy, um, <laughs> you know, you got to have a movie snack right there. And, you know, I didn't go too far with it. Um, you got to have your movie Ooh, snack movie right snacks. there. And whether it's just something as simple as popcorn with some salt and butter or if it's something more complicated like pizza fries um, I want to talk about at home movie snacks. You know, what you this what what's, what hit what's hit what hits just right for you in front of your TV <laughs> to get through that hour and a half, two hours or whatever you're gonna put on. So Trev, Nanook, Joe, let's talk about that. Let's talk about movie. Oh, mm. wait a minute, Mark Alark. Well, our producer Mark Alark's got something. Mark Alark, what you got? Hey, I'm raising my hands. Big plate of beef nachos. 
with the sour <laughs> cream and the green onions and all the, the you know the yummy stuff. So by beef, okay. you mean like a brisket so or a bubacola or you steak? Can never go wrong. So or I have to beef. say this: you can't ever go wrong. I would go to Sunday brunch if all they had was nachos, because nachos are a win all the time. You know, I have to say. It's like the whole yeah. complete meal. So I no, mean, that was a good contribution. Like... You can come back another week, Mark Lark. That was a good contribution. <laughs> um... For me, there's popcorn. You know what I mean? There's like snacks. You could get a bag of chips. You could do whatever. But for me, right. I, right. I, I like a charcuterie board. Store. I may it may be a little too fancy, but all I need is meat and cheese and crackers. This chick says charcuterie. Uh, anybody that knows me oh my knows God. I like cheese. Don't mm. judge me. Okay. No, <laughs> no, you were making me hungry. Yeah. Cheese child, rocks. <laughs> no, yeah, all the types of meats and even all the if types it gives me dogs. diarrhea, it's fine. Crackers, yeah, like cracker like barrel. That's, it. That's all, all I need. No, my wife. That's, that's too funny. My you know wife I mean? and I do a charcuterie board every now and I again. Probably, and <laughs> now so my wife's good. a vegetarian, but we still do. She'll put out some meats for me, or I'll put some meats on there. We'll have some fruits and cheeses and nuts. It's mm -hmm. oh my god, yeah, no, no, they, hit it. they slap every time. I don't think every I've time. ever had a bad charcuterie board. No, well, I don't Wait like the word slap and nuts in the same well, sentence. Actually, it's how you present it. Uh, right. right. oh, Wait, how do you say it again? <laughs> charcuterie, 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 yes. Makes my stomach turn. <laughs> charcuterie, not charcuterie. Don't do I Can you say it that. one more time? <laughs> yeah, I should have said that. Char charcuterie. <laughs> charcuterie. <laughs> but yeah, no. Um. All right, gentlemen, what what you got? What what, you, what do you do when you're Char sitting down at home with your movies, man? So, I I, I love say cookies. Wrong. People make fun of me. I love peanut Wait butter cookies. <laughs> this is gonna be good. I feel like I love, this is gonna be peanut butter cookies. Host, uh, oh God. Chip cookies. AA meetings. Yeah. Trying to hear people say anonymity. Yeah, took a little hilarious. Put it in the microwave. You're for sitting there at the table little, in front of a hundred oh, people, oh, just like trying to put it in the bag. It's like Nicaragua. That was a lot of practice to say that word. So I'm gonna divert a little bit from you know in the new socks. In the new football seasons, and I work very close. Of course, of course. And then the smoked cream cheese. Okay. Doritos. And okay. Yeah, yeah. So I think I've heard I have not personally done smoked cream cheese yet, but I've seen I've heard it's like amazing. Anonymous. It looks good. I've seen a little block of it sitting there and it looks good dipping into it. I just haven't tried it yet. I haven't tried it. Oh now you got me on this. Cinnamon. All right, what you got in the new <laughs> Excuse me. You got so, okay. uh, No, no, no. <laughs> oh I was just saying anonymous I got back and I just got like that loves anonymity. Please be careful. Please get better. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm good. I'm not like sluggish or feverish or anything like that. Just like a <laughs> random cough. So Wait, funny. what? You but, have um, COVID? I don't have COVID. See? I did. I did two at home that? tests. It's not COVID. Oh, I'm sorry. When um, I heard well, the we feverish got the stuff, we killer right there. Yeah, yeah. Let Speaking of COVID killers in the, the audience, you know <laughs> give that guy the broom. Have him smack me upside the head. I was head. trying there to figure out how to say in an You're good to go. Good to go. So we know what word is here for tonight. We we all love sweet snacks. We all love salt. To build off Trap's cookies, right? Right. Reese's cookies, okay. No. So you get peanut uh -huh. butter cookie mix yeah, with the Reese's pieces and then chips in them. Yep. Now, right. now you get the mini Reese's pieces, right? Okay, and Girl. then you get some miniature Reese's cups. <laughs> okay. You bake them into the cookie. Yes, and then you get, and then you get your miniature. Um, uh, pretzel, the right. tiny one. Uh, and now you mix all that stuff together I'm in excited. that peanut butter cookie mix and then ball it up and bake that bad boy. This is why Ooh. you co host this show with me. Because this is the stuff <laughs> of champions. This is why you were here. See, I want. See, he can't even stand there and not cough because I'm trying to give him a compliment. Um, <laughs> but this, this is the stuff, man. This is. This is the win. All right. Oh my goodness. See, Joe over here just told us some pop. I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So I'm messing. those are good, right? But we like, just I, recently I, tried I feel another you, one. But I, I, uh, 
No, this, this is the peanut butter and chocolate for me. I just can't do it. I really. No, no, it's just yeah, the chocolate and peanut butter together. I can't do it. Peanut butter and chocolate together are so okay. awesome. But no, I, no hey, everybody's like, got their thing. Like oh. happiness. That no. tastes like home. <laughs> That tastes really like does. everything right with oh. the world. I have to agree with Nanu. It really does. <laughs> mm -hmm. It really, really does. Um, but another oh, one we've tried recently, like right, that. is, um, <laughs> is uh, you know, like the Tostitos scoops? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you Tostitos make individual ones? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tostitos pizza. No, you didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So you take, you yeah, take like, a, like a little... Now. Like I a like little tiny teaspoon worth of of uh, your marinara sauce, you drop it in the bat the bottom of that bad boy, then you take a pepperoni, put it on top oh, of that. Nice. All right, some cheese. Excuse me, throw some You'll cheese on there. Right. Pepperoni on top of that, what, maybe a little bit more cheese, and then like you air food. fry those bad boys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I oh agree. man, I'm those literally gonna so make have those an air fryer. I feel like I'm completely out of They are amazing. If you enjoy cooking and every use it, we pan pan everything. And see, now I've made person. individual nachos in the scoops, but I've not make made frozen fries. I've not deviated from, like from that. To get you know, I stayed right. basic. Mm -hmm. But that yeah, that's what that's I do. That's a win right? right there. That's just mm -hmm. the oven takes just like maybe ten minutes longer. No, those that's, those those are, but are always pizzas. it gives you time to prep everything else. Hey, there you go. All right, so all right, all right. We're gonna turn to the audience now. Audience, we need your help. I want to know. I want to hear from you guys. Tell us about your favorite movie snacks. Tell us about your favorite movie snacks. Cha Ching, what, what do you do? When, when you put on that, Ooh, when you put so on that I love, VHS like, tape, actual you know, like cooked me. popcorn <laughs> in a pan with stupid oil and actual kernels. Oh, and then okay. yeah. as it's cooking, I warm up the butter and then maybe do a little bit of a honey drizzle or a chocolate drizzle mm -hmm. or whatever I have on hand that's up my alley. It's delicious. Even nuts, you add nuts mm -hmm. if you're not a nut. Heck yeah. person. Okay. Okay. No, for sure. She's so, um, school, cook the make your own like toffee out of popcorn. So, so yeah. you 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 DM'd me your address before the show, right? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I will I'm send you anything. <laughs> to toffee popcorn. I'll send no, you I whatever need. you want. I need that in my life. I'm gonna real. send you That's a gaga. So, Wait a minute. Yeah. What? Whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Oh, here we go. Come on. Come on. Hey. And some coffee milk. It'll be good. Coffee milk? Okay. Okay. Some I've heard good gaga. things about that. Coffee milk. She didn't say coffee milk. She said coffee milk. Yeah, and they coffee okay. milk. She said coffee, coffee milk. milk. You got to say it right over here. She said I'm walking here. Hey. <laughs> you from, from Massachusetts? New Jersey. Close. New York. Mm. Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, We're hanging out around with Adam. the littlest, biggest world. state in the anonymity. Union. Anonymity. <laughs> anonymity. I said it. Oh, wait a minute. She said it. That's her. That's her. Uh, that's her unsafe word. Anonymity. Anonymity. After the gagger. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. All right. Alma <laughs> Jean is here, ladies and gentlemen. Another one of the one of our illustrious leads from the Soapstone Comedy Hello, Club team. Alba. Alma Jean. When you. She's like, I can't go nobody. Nobody. <laughs> yeah, like we're talking nobody. about movie yeah. snacks. What is your favorite what is your movie thing snack? to sit down and, and fix yourself when you're watching a movie at home? Popcorn and apples. Did you say popcorn, popcorn. and applesauce? Popcorn and apples. No, popcorn and like yes, apple slices. Did. Well, not apple slices. Slices of oh, apple, apple slices. Okay. Yeah, okay. I like that. I can dig that. Nice and simple. <laughs> I, now, something right. my sister introduced me to. Have you ever taken those apple slices and wrapped them in really thin slices of Swiss cheese? Oh, that sounds good. I've had apple and cheese, but not Swiss. So that sounds delicious. I did not think this would work, but my sister was insistent. Dude, you got to try it. And I tried it. Mm. They got to be deli yeah. thin, though. They can't be thick. I want to be like sandwich now. slices. No, they they be need deli to like thin yeah. slices. themselves. Into oh, so the you, apple. Take a, and you take a slice of apple and wrap it and bite it. And the, Oh my, I couldn't believe how good that is. It's such a simple thing. See, it reminds me of one, one time I my, uh, one of my best friends came up to me and said, Hey, you know, you know what's really good? Were you checking his temperature? Yeah. <laughs> Cheese, but I want you to spread peanut butter on it. And you guys know how much I love peanut butter. So I'm like, Oh, this is going to be great. Let's Except do this. when chocolate's okay. around. I don't know. Play anybody, play. Has anybody else, <laughs> has anybody else had cheese and, uh, peanut butter? <gasps> I mean, it's a thing. I've never heard of it, but 
No. Well, okay. you were glitching. What'd you it's say? It's not. Cheese and peanut butter. We, oh. She want to know. Cheese if that was and peanut. No. Oh no. God. Is that a Has thing? Anyone? Because my if friend told me. If it is a thing, let's uh, uh, let's make sure thing. it doesn't and become I'm one. Like, yeah, let's make sure that does not like, spread. Like, we'll has anyone ever heard of like halloum peanut cheese? Butter, I feel like a peanut butter, like in person. Halloum? No. Have like you heard that. of halloum cheese? <laughs> halloum? I've heard of halloum. Halloum cheese. So no, you I've heard of halloum cheese. Not halloum, but halloum. So halloum cheese, like I think it's from Quebec. So I'm I'm from Canada. But um, eh? you slice it into yes, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but you slice it into quarter inch. You can fry them and they won't melt, but they will get crisp and they're salty and they're like juicy. Isn't that like something that we cheese. eat down here though? It's like uh, polenta or something, cheese? right? <laughs> I don't know. It's it called halloumi here. It don't here. melt. It don't we melt. Have well, no. <laughs> yeah, so, they take like the cheese so and they fry it. And on a date, it my wife and, and I went to the it restaurant doesn't melt. that does it's top delicious. keeps its integrity. And, uh-huh. and a crisp. Yes. That's where I discovered Maybe that is that the same. Greek, the Greek tapas. And that's yes. where I discovered it's salty and oh, it's like wet and cheese. Oh, oh, oh. For the first, she had had it before. I've seen it on fries before, I think. This is a cheese that Mark Larkin was applauded. He must know of the halloumi. So Thick this is a cheese you can actually really slice know, up and like she got Reezy said you can grill it. No. It feels like one of my a favorite things to do is to take halloumi, like you slice it, slice when it's it and even grill like warm, it and serve like. it with apricot. Jam. And then you fry What's it. What's the name of it again? It doesn't even like spread out. It doesn't melt. Halloumi. The grilled halloumi, halloumi yeah. with the sweetness of the apricot jam or peach so jam, one or the other. Phenomenal. I mean, huh. I might have to for me with grill and cheese. Discord. I honestly, I mm-hmm. gotta go if with anybody like, can find I it. Just uh, signed on a nice to shredded recently. Mexican blend. Throw that bad though. boy on a skillet. Let it crisp up. That's mm-hmm. not. And then you flip it. Let that side crisp a little bit. You'll be able to remain cools, your hand in the midi. You I take that like and you put like a like couple of cups or whatever you got together and 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 a utensil and just drape it over and let it form into like a taco shell. I'll play cod. Mm-hmm. Keto and taco shell. I knew you were going to say that. Keto, oh. keto yeah. taco shell right there. Yeah. For those of you on keto, that's a that's a taco shell you can have right there. Oh. Put sugar on it. Tacos, the perfect but, food. But uh, going back to the apples thing, um, I got a weird one that <laughs> I tried for a while. It was like one of those, it was like one of those dopamine foods that I had for a while. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It's, it's weird. It's weird, but it's good. It's gonna sound crazy at first, but it's good. Um, baked apple slices, but you okay. wrap or air fried, excuse me. Mm-hmm. But uh, you before you wrap them in anything, you, you take them apple slices, a little bit of uh, like maple sugar, and and uh, a little bit of honey on them, and then you wrap those bad boys up in bacon. <laughs> yes. Did we not yes. just say bacon is amazing in the last episode? And then so we did. We finally talked about bacon. Could wrap a sneaker bacon on bacon something. and eat it. It would be yeah. Great. Now, now you sneaker, get them like ninety percent of the way cooked, and then a little bit of maple syrup on top of that, and oh. then put it back in the air fryer, finish it off. Yep. Yep. Oh, man, the I told you that. I had that sounds like a win waiting on the top, the top of on. apples, right? So I, most of my uh, coworkers at Texas Roadhouse, they're Hispanic fellows, right? Love them to death. They made, uh, so it's like a combination of sweet, sour, and spicy, right? Some apple slices, some lemon juice, and some tahini. Okay. It's, it's really good. Tahini goes good. I've, I've seen that yeah. with, done with mango slices, but not yeah, apple. But can, that does sound good. You can good. do tahini on almost any fruit, and it's really good. Yeah, yeah. And then a little concoction that one of the MITs that I've trained to go work at another Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> so she restocked the applesauce. And what she did with the empty applesauce jar was put some Discord? mellow yellow in there. And I was like, yeah. I wasn't that's on the Discord not okay. It doesn't work. And, uh, and then I tried it, was, like, and, and it was phenomenal. Mm. And if you she put, put what in the uh, in there, the, the empty bottles? I didn't like hear the. So like mellow yellow Mountain Dew. Huh? Huh? Wow. Interesting. Throw a dash of cinnamon in there. It tastes like a little bit apple pie. Now you know what you just made me think of when you mentioned reusing the almost empty jar of something. This was another TikTok trend that I thought was not going to work, but it did. How many of you like Nutella? 
who in the, yeah, who in there likes I know exactly Nutella? what he's going for right now. Like <laughs> <that>. <laughs> he knows. So there's this TikTok trend going around where you can make what they call the new the TikTok Nutella ice cream. You've seen that? You know what yeah. I'm talking about? So all you do is you take when 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 you've got a jar of Nutella that you've been, you know, scooping out and spreading and it's almost empty. They say, don't throw it out. Take that jar, fill it with heavy whipping cream, right? Mm -hmm. Shake it up a little bit, put it in your freezer and then come back and what is it like? Check it every half hour, shake it again every half an hour or something. Yep. And then after about maybe four or five hours, it should have solidified into a Nutella flavored ice cream. And I did that once. And it was absolutely amazing. It was a wow. little bit on the oily side, a little, little taste, mm -hmm. a little bit on the oily side, but the flavor of the heavy whipping cream with the with the leftover Nutella from the jar, I was no, oh. oh, and you got to add a pinch of salt. You got to add just a pinch of salt to it. Yeah. Too. But oh my goodness, that was that was why I'm like, this is another thing. This should not work. These TikTok, these stupid yeah, TikTok trends, they should not work. But they work. Uh, yeah. I couldn't believe them. Uh, something I really enjoy doing in the fall time, too, especially get, like, the apple cider or for, you know, the adults, some spiked apple ciders, right? But uh, something I really enjoy yeah. doing is taking apples and coring them and then on the inside kind of kind of scooping it out like a spoon, scoop it out as much as you possibly can to get the outside edges as thin as possible and taking all those innards and not food processing them but just kind of mash them up to a point where they're not just like big chunks mm -hmm. and then you add uh you add a little bit uh, you know a couple pinches of sugar in there maybe brown sugar for me personally it's brown sugar cinnamon um and then uh a little bit of maple syrup right and uh, I also use a little bit of caramel and then marshmallows. Mix all that together in a bowl. Maybe some chocolate, too, if you're into it. And Damn. then stuff the apples with that mixture and then bake them. Stuffed baked apples. Stuffed chocolate baked apples. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. You yeah. almost made me violate the house rules today. Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ. Stop that with every the week, house. one of them does that. You can, all, every week, one of y'all brings up something. And Joe left. One of y'all, every week, one of y'all bring up something. Joe's up there in the booth now. Every week, y'all bring yes. up something that does that. All, I almost slip up and break the house rules because oh, of how good it sounds. Sorry. Oh, 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 I remember. I it was out. It was me. It was the last okay. time. It was the... The uh, it was like the the caramel kettle corn with the peanuts, mm -hmm. and you use that with the marshmallow mix and the butter to make like a like a oh. rice krispies treat sheet pan Yummy. with that, and then drizzle chocolate caramel hey, on top of that. Profanity. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> shave, uh, shave chocolate, shave chocolate. So you know, get like a potato peel and shave a bar of chocolate all over the top. Mm. I tried Very, that. That Very was fantastic. Nice. I, I must say that that sounds like mm -hmm. a win. Um, mm. I think the only, unless if Trev, if you got any, Trev, Joe, if either you got anything no. else, I want to no. talk about one more thing and then we can close, close our, close ourselves out here. But um, did y'all have anything else y'all wanted to contribute right there? Cause what, what Nanook said was pretty awesome. <laughs> no, you're good. All right, Joe. Say what you oh, have to no, say. Right. Can we start looking right. forward to some holiday kitchen. recipes? All right, so Maybe next time? this is the last thing I want to talk about really quick. I'm just going to, um, you guys, you, when, whenever you talk about something amazing like that, Nuke, I have to, it, it sends me back into my memory banks, the things I've done in the past. <laughs> and you talk about, you know, what you do around the fall time and the apple cider. And I, it just made me think of how I've, past couple of years, I've started really looking forward to some local farm making apple cider donuts you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. if you if you, if you yes! go to like a, an apple cider donuts in the fall if you go to a local mm -hmm. farm where you're doing the hay rides and the corn maze and everything but i did something a couple of years ago that you know how every now and again you do something in your own kitchen that is so delicious that it makes you punch <laughs> a hole through the wall 
So this, yes. so this is what I did. So I bought a six. So I was talking with my mom and my mom was like, you know, uh, the local farm got the apple cider donuts. And I went up and I got a six pack and I bit into the first one and it wasn't as good as I remember. I'm like, wait a minute. This is classic. Oh, you know what? You know what it is? This needs a glaze. So first, you know, first thing you got to do is you pull out your powdered sugar and your milk. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have any milk, so I pulled out coffee cream. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> there you go. So powdered sugar, coffee creamer, mix it up, got a glaze going. And I said, wait a minute. I could take this up another notch. What do I go into my pantry for? Cinnamon. Mm. Add the cinnamon to the glaze. Then I say, no. I say, nay, nay. <laughs> this can go another notch. <laughs> I grab vanilla bean paste. Oh, okay. Into the glaze. Whip that together real nice. Dip a corner of the donut in it. My eyes rolled back so far it looked like mm. a jukebox in my face. Mm, okay. He's a happy guy. This guy. He's oh happy. my god. It was the, the mixture of the, the the seasonings and the in the flavor in the donut and the glaze that I made. You could have just forwarded my mail to the kitchen. It was that damn good. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Uh so you know the fall stuff. Maybe that's what we'll talk about. I'm next episode of the soap stuff. <laughs> I'm not that big of a fan of the pumpkin spice thing, but I'm starting mm. to come around. Y'all might be pumpkin spicers. You know, it's not really my thing, but we can talk about it. Maybe y'all can bring me into the fold. I maybe I'll even have a, an iced PSL here in my home studio in real life while we're doing the next episode. But y'all have to. Y'all have to. Are y'all in? Are y'all PSLers? Are y'all into pumpkin spice? I yeah. haven't cared enough to oh, try yes. it, honestly. All the yeah. way. The so Trev is on the fence. Like, yes, sir. Joe is all the way in. The nuke, are you all the way in with yes. pumpkin spice? No, no, no. no. Okay. I probably had like two or three pumpkin spice. So you just like it wasn't coffee. You're just like me, me, me. Just like oh, yeah, that was honey. okay. But okay. Like, so we got one pumpkin spicer. <laughs> so we're gonna try to see if she can either get us into the fold or if we're just gonna vote her off the island. Oh, next lovely. episode. I know Mark at midnight does a, a pumpkin so, spice mac and very cheese. Excited. So, what do y'all think? Do y'all think we'll love it, or do y'all think we'll get vote her off the island? What do you think of the pumpkin spice discussion? We'll see. Well, she came but up I with that little hot we need dog. To be glove. careful, talk about pumpkin spice and Don is still in here. <laughs> really, Mark? Yeah, yeah, it is Don's thing. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. but it's Don 333's thing. You're absolutely, you, also, she we came will, up with the hot we dog. Will, we will take we will take <laughs> precaution. Yeah, yeah, you know, honestly though, like I'm, I'm surprised she's not already off the island with oh, the. Oh Lord, guys, the, 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 I'm outnumbered. Yeah, with the glizzug. You're just was... mad because you didn't wow. see it first, okay? No, we're, we're mad because we saw it. it. We're mad because we talk about play. it, Monkey. Before you finish, <laughs> can I give a pork <laughs> tip? We're mad because we can't get that two minutes back in the soap stuff. Um, so you know what? <laughs> and we're ending she wasn't the supposed show. To hear me Thank say you that. guys for coming she was, out. No. She here, right? <laughs> I said it out no. loud. I said it yeah, out loud. Yeah, you did. In, in, I heard you. In the same, in the same, uh, in the same topic field though of the apple cider donuts, right? Uh -huh. I thought we were you know what the uh, tres leches cake is? I do. No. Uh -huh. Okay, so I do. I so knew my somebody stomach. who used to take their apple cider donuts. And basically make them into mini tres leches cakes. Mm. Yeah. We both heavy side. Like, yeah. Geez. Yeah. Ugh. Pretty good. Yeah. A little bit of powdered sugar leader, on top. A little bit of powdered to sugar on top and just go to town on it. Mm. I tried Dad. it. I, at first I was like, yeah, I tried it. I'm, I'd be, I would lie to you if I said I haven't made it quite a few times since then. So... What you just described is none other than, none other than the perfect funeral. That's how I want to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of the Soap Stove. If you liked it, give us see some confetti. Uh, we always love talking about food. And we hope we made you hungry. We hope we brought you into the fold of the conversation. I always love having these discussions because I love food and I know Trev and the new dude yeah. as well. And we have local Joe on here. 
Give it up for local Joe. This is her first soap <laughs> stove on the stage. Oh, yeah. I invited Even though myself, baby. Thank you. She invited herself, and now we I know why, because she brought up that glizz up crap. Hey, no, man. Just, uh, just, just um, give me a minute. You ain't knock until you try it. You give us a minute, and I'm mad at ourselves. Okay, that valid point. Back. Looks but, like uh, we both got homework. <laughs> Y'all give it, up for, give it up for Mark Alark in the booth. Mark Alark up there. We even brought him into the conversation. We appreciate yeah. it. The mark. And y'all, uh, I got to talk about my my. Uh, I don't even want to say my sous chefs. They are my. They are equal to me. They are my co-hosts. Uh, Trev Stew and the Nuke. Give it up for Trev Stew and the Nuke. They are awesome. Well, yes. and, and thank you. And shout out to here. Ashman for bringing his bot in. There. Yes, give a shout out to Ashman. He brought his bot to video because <laughs> he didn't have anything better to do. He already ran out of food. <laughs> Uh, let's not and forget, of course, the one and only Xavier Strong. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate you, buddy. Thank Fantastic you. job yet again. But And then the last thing I want to say is, you know, this show wouldn't be what it is without the excitement, the participation, and the enthusiasm of our awesome audience. So give yourself some yeah. confetti. We thank you all for being here. We needed you. And Sharing. the last thing I'll say is something that I've been saying to people all for the past couple of weeks ever since i heard it on tiktok because i want <laughs> everybody to know that tomorrow needs you okay thank so you. don't forget that and thank you very much for participating this has been Thanks, another so good night holiday recipes Thanks for coming in the kitchen have a good night, night. Guys. My kitchen's better open.